Hi there everyone. So about to the day, two months ago, Atomos released firmware update on Shinobi 2. That firmware was 11.02.00, I think yesterday. And they released 11.03.00 and there are quite some nice updates in this firmware update. So from the previous one there were a couple of issues that I found. So the flickering when um, you switch modes or stop recording on your camera, then it would flicker before it actually displayed continuously again. The other thing I picked up only later, I didn't mention that in the, in the previous video, USB-C charging at the back didn't work unless you had a battery in. And then I'm on the Nikon Z8. In the previous update, they didn't specifically mention that the Z8 did work with the camera controls or touch to focus. But I actually tried it and it did work, though the touch to focus did not work. In this update they specifically say that the Z8 is compatible with camera controls and touch to focus. I'm excited to test the touch to focus and then one of the issues that I saw in the previous update um, and I mentioned that in the video is that once you turn off the camera and then turn the camera back on it would not connect again so you had to restart the Shinobi or unplug the USB-C cable and plug it back in before it would pick up the camera so that you can have the camera controls back on the Shinobi again. Yeah, so those couple of things were issues on the previous update that I could see and now I've updated my Shinobi. I'll leave the links in the description below for where you can get the firmware update and also the instructions to do it and then also the link of compatible devices. First thing I want to test is to see if the USB-C power delivery works. I'll remove the battery and I'm just going to plug in the power supply it's in there and then let's see if it powers on. Okay, cool. So power delivery does work. This did not work in the previous firmware so that's quite nice to see that it's now fixed. So the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to put the battery back on here. So I can remove this and then I'm going to plug in my Z8 into the Shinobi. Okay, so I plugged in USB-C and HDMI to the Z8 and I'm going to turn on the camera now. So it seems like the issue where the camera is turned off and then back on is not fixed because the camera controls is not working at the moment. So what I'll have to do is Either you have to restart the Shinobi or you have to unplug the USB-C and then re-plug it in to get it working. So as you can see there, as soon as I plugged it back in with the camera on the camera control icon, went from grayed out to actionable. And then there's your camera control, white balance works, shut the speed works, and then ISO. And you can start recording from here and then also stop recording. And there's the flicker. So the flicker has also not been fixed. Two of the four issues are not fixed yet. The last thing I just wanted to test was the touch to focus. I'm just going to go, okay, there it, it does work. Okay, so let's quickly have a look. Okay, so I'm on subject tracking at the moment, as you can see, and it's sticking onto that one. And then as soon as I select something else, it'll move there and stay on it. So this is quite useful. Then the next one we can test is auto area AF and there also it does work. It's not the best environment for autofocus but as you can see it does work. So that's the That flickering is quite a deal break for me, I must say. So that was Auto Area AF, the previous one was Subject Tracking AF, and then we go to Single Point and Wide Area AF. So this is Single Point, and if I select there, it focuses. So that works. And then the other one is the Custom Wide Area. So as you can see that also works. 
Yeah, so USB-C power delivery, that's fixed, that's working. Flickering has not been fixed yet. And then also the Shinobi not recognizing the camera after you've switched it off and switched it back on. We have to unplug it or restart the Shinobi to get the camera controls back. That's not working. And then touch to focus has been added to the Z8 and it is working. And I think that's really kind of useful the way it works. It's not limiting you in any kind of way I could tell. So that's quite a nice update. And then further, everything is working fine. Yeah, let me know if you guys have the same problems or that your issues are also fixed from the previous update. And what's your experience with the update and if you are enjoying it. All right, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.